everyone, I'm Miss Susan, and this is Let's Sew Kids. Um, I, this is a short video on how to set your sewing machine for the proper seam allowance. Um, seam allowance is simply the distance between the thread where you've sewn and the edge of the fabric. You want to have seam allowance so your uh, seam does not come apart when you're using the project. Um, when you begin a sewing project somewhere in the pattern or the instructions, the writer will note that what seam allowance is needed to complete correctly complete the project. Um, you will need to use that correct seam allowance in order for all pieces to fit together correctly. So here's a couple ways to set up your sewing machine for the uh, correct seam allowance. The first one is needle plate markings. Some machines have them, um, some don't. Some of the older machines are actually in metric, so um, check your machine. If yours does have the markings. And here's some of the markings here. You can see this uh, 5 eighths. That means 5 eighths of an inch. That's one inch right here. 3 quarters, 7 eighths. So you can use those markings as your guide. And then I just use my painter's tape or washi tape. I'm setting up for a half inch seam allowance. So I've come back from that 5 eighths of an inch over to the marking which would be half inch. And you simply use your tape at that measurement. And when you insert your fabric, you can see there's a little bit of uh, space between the distance between the needle and the edge of the fabric is a little bit wider than the edge of the foot. So you want to have that, here's that correct measurement. And you can see that little bit of difference in the distance. Another way, if you don't have those markings to go by, is using your seam gauge. We've used this for other things, for measuring where we're going to fold something. Um, and what you're going to do, and I'll take off my foot so you can see it a little bit easier. Pull my tape back for just a second. And I've set my seam allowance for one half of an inch. And I'm just using half an inch as, a, as an example. Your seam allowance might be three eighths of an inch, it might be five eighths of an inch, it might be a full inch. So you're just gonna set your seam gauge for the measurements that, that's called for in your pattern. So this is a half of an inch. And what I do is I'm gonna turn my needle, uh, my hand wheel, so my needle is down into um, bobbin area. And I'm going to measure, I'm putting the edge, my little slider, against my needle. And now I know that what I want is half of an inch, and I'll use my tape. And let's see if I can show you. So see how my the little, little blue slide is right where the needle is, and then the edge of the um, seam gauge is where I'm going to place my tape. So that's the, that's the easiest way to do that. It's real simple. Get set up. Always refer to your pattern um, for the correct seam allowance that your pattern calls for. Um, I want to show you another, another little notion that would be really great to add to your sewing kit, and that is a magnetic seam guide. And it is just exactly what it says. It's magnetic. It holds really, really firm against that metal needle plate. So when I sew, and I'm going to put a pin. And so we're going to pretend we're sewing. Put my foot back on. And so I'm on the half an inch. Again, you can see that there's a slight distance between my seam guide and the edge of my foot. And as I'm sewing, this is going to be my guide, and you can still put a piece of tape in if you want. This is going to be my guide to let me know that when I'm at that needle, this is where I want my fabric to be. The other nice thing about this, it's got these little arms on them, so as I get up to that, that lets me know it's time to take the pin out so I don't sew over pins. So practice uh, setting up some different seam allowances until you're comfortable. Um, always double check your measurement before you start sewing. I still do that now just to make sure I have the, that correct uh, 
width for that seam allowance. So um, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Let's Sew Kids.